Hi, my name is Fleming Conrads and I'm a professor of international environmental health here at the University of Copenhagen. I look forward to welcoming you to our online global health introductory course. During the eight course weeks, you will meet many of my colleagues representing many different disciplines. And you will meet researchers from other universities, as well as representatives from UN organizations, civil society and the private sector. We'll discuss global health governance and identify the role of key actors and we'll provide you with an overview of the most important health problems globally and certainly transcend the perspectives of individual countries. In the past decade, the world has seen significant progress in human health, especially in relation to the control of infectious diseases. Life expectancy has increased and the quality of life improved for millions. However, in spite this progress, the world still hosts hundreds of millions of people living in extreme poverty lacking even the most basic amenities such as water and sanitation. Poverty, malnutrition, infectious diseases and reproductive health are still fundamentals of an unfinished global agenda. At the same time, the aging population, urbanization, pollution and changing diets are among the drivers of an epidemic of non-communicable diseases, resulting in cancer and diabetes. Add to this an increasing burden for mental health problems and it's clear that all sectors of our society need to address the potential downside of global megatrends. Population health in Denmark, as in other countries around the world, is influenced by international conventions and the ongoing globalization. For example, international trade agreements influence price and availability of products in our local supermarkets. The products you'll find here are a result of a growing trade in agricultural products, creating employment to millions and servicing billions of consumers. It's also a good example of how pricing standards and competition influence the health and consumer practices and opportunities for farmers around the world. Equally, the growing trade in agricultural products call for international standards to protect the international consumers against, for example, pesticide residues or the spread of drug-resistant strains of bacteria. This and much more we'll discuss in this online course giving you an introduction to global health. Please take part in the discussion and sign up.